Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to another episode of Tommy's Heck Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a bushel of crabs. So stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. All right guys, so in a previous video, I did a catch and cook of um, crabs that I caught. Um, I didn't catch a whole lot, but they were huge crabs. But I did promise you guys that I would show you how to cook a bushel of crab. So uh, that's what I got right here in this box. Um, doesn't look like a bushel, but it's actually a bushel and then a little bit more than that. So um, these are actually uh, female crabs. Um, in Maryland, you actually can't keep female crabs as a recreational crabber, but you can keep them uh, if you are a commercial crabber and can sell them. Um, these are actually a lot cheaper to buy at the moment. So I ended up buying a bushel of these and these are actually pretty good sized females. Um, and if you know Filipinos, um, if you don't already know, I am actually uh, a Filipino American. Um, Filipinos love eating the females because of the row that's inside. The first thing I do when I cook the crabs is um, I'm gonna put them on ice. Um, I show you that in my previous video as well. Um, so I'm gonna put these crabs in a cooler and then put ice on them just to calm them down a little bit so they'll be a little, a little bit more docile and a lot, lot easier to deal with so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now all right guys so I've got my cooler right here and I'm gonna go ahead and take the crabs and uh, dump all of them into this cooler Or shift a little bit. That's right. A lot of these crabs are actually pretty docile already because it's pretty cold. But uh, we're gonna put ice on them just kind of as a safe measure and also just to show you how I'd actually typically do this, you know, in the spring or summertime as well. So now I've got a bag of ice here. Just gonna pour it on top. Usually you'd need probably even more ice in this, but uh, this should be good enough since it is pretty cold outside today. All right, so now that I've got the ice on them, I'm gonna close the cooler and then let them sit for a little while. And then we'll come back and go ahead and start cooking them. All right, so the ingredients I'm gonna be using to cook the crabs is uh, cider vinegar, water. This is a Sprite bottle, but I have just water in here. Um, some crab spice. This is um, J-O number two. Um, it's the same stuff I actually used in my previous video. Uh, so the crabs should be ready now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting them in the pot and I'll show you how I uh, combine everything into the pot as well. So uh, let's go do that now. All right guys, so this is the equipment I'm gonna be using to uh, cook the crabs. I have a Bayou Classic pot here. This is a 60 quart pot. I can usually fit about a bushel and a quarter of crabs in here. Um, this is a Bayou Classic uh, burner as well sorry about my neighbor's dog and it's just a regular propane tank that hooks right up to this burner um, i have a link in the description below to everything that i'm using in the video but um, the nice thing about this pot here is that it's got this basket inside of it and it has a little lip here that holds the basket you know off of the um the bottom so you can put water in put water in ahead of time and uh, deal with the crabs and then put your basket in and it won't be on the bottom so you can steam your crabs properly so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the contents inside of the uh, the pot and then get the water going and then we'll go ahead and put the crabs in the basket and start cooking them all right so the first thing I'm gonna add is the water um, really you just need enough liquid so that um, when you're steaming the crabs you don't want them to uh, dry out so just gonna put enough water in there and uh, cider vinegar so that the crabs don't uh, dry out let's 
quite a bit of water. Oh wow, use all of it. That's about two liters. So I'm about to put also now the uh, cider vinegar, which is right here. Uh, just eyeballing this, that was about two quarts of um, water. I'm sorry, two liters of water. So I'm gonna just put, let me use all the cider vinegar. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit water, a little bit more water, and then uh, we should be uh, good to go. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my burner. Uh, I got the water in, or the liquid water on the cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna open the valve on the uh, propane tank and then also put it on low first for the burner. I'm just gonna light it. You can see it gets a nice blue flame, uh, so it'll burn really hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the pot on. Now that the pot's on, we go ahead and uh, put the crabs in the uh, the basket that I got right here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Hey guys, sorry about the low light, but I'm losing light and uh, trying to get these on as quick as I can. But uh, as you can see here, uh, the crabs are pretty docile now. They've been on for a while. See that they won't uh, try to pinch me or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer these on the bottom of the pot. So I'm gonna do a layer of crabs and then put some crab spice and then just continue uh, to do that. All right, so now I've got a layer on, I'm gonna go ahead and put some spice on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, put another layer of crabs and then spice and just keep going until I fill it all the way up. All right guys, so I went ahead and put the basket in, uh, the pot, and uh, couldn't actually fit all the crabs in, so I'm gonna actually have to fit. Use another pot to finish them off, because I think this was like, more like a bushel and a half of crabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on, and then we're gonna turn the heat way up. And uh, then I'll check in at about 15 minutes, and then probably let it go another 20 minutes after that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now I'm gonna turn the heat all the way up. All right, guys, it's been probably 40 minutes or so. Um, they should be nice and uh, orange, which they are. And pretty much cooked. I may give them a couple more minutes and uh, then we should be good to go to eat. So let's uh, let them go a little bit longer and then we will check back. All right, guys, so the crabs are done. They're a nice orange color. Uh, again, this is about a bushel and a half, so I filled about a bushel and a quarter in here and then I finished the rest inside like in my previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple out and uh, we're going to start eating. So here's the finished product of the crabs. They came out great. Had quite a few guests uh, waiting for the crabs, so I didn't really get to end the video as I planned. Uh, so here's some B-roll footage of the crabs. So this is how I like to cook a bushel of crabs. Some people like to boil them, but I prefer using the steaming method. How do you like to cook your crabs? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.